Our rich men, juniors of the world. What's going on, Jock? Yo, I'm good, man. What's going on with you, bro? Same here, chilling, cooling. Yeah, man. So, you know, let's let's go ahead and just jump right on in this real quick, though, man. You know, I hope everybody having a blessed day. Peace and love, everybody out there. Right. Let's talk about these 19 families. That's something that you brought to my attention. These 19 families, so-called families, who um basically bought. Acres like ninety six point one seven acres, something mm. like that. Of land that they know, but they got together. Right. But it's curious, you know, the thing about you know how they got there and what they're doing and who they're working with, because especially the area that they're in, you know, right. because Toomsboro has a <laughs> has a history, and the fact that two black women are the front face of this movement, and everything though, to build their own so called Wakanda territory and community to bring together for black people to feel uh, safe. They call it, what do you call it? Freedom what? Freedom uh, County, Freedom Town, or something like that? Oh yeah, Freedom Freedom of Georgia Initiative. Yeah, man. So, Decent, Decent, Decent is a former Confederate soldier who was elected sheriff of Wilkinson County. He was the first documented lynching of a black woman in Georgia after the Civil War. Mm. The Georgia General Assembly incorporated Toomsboro as a town in 1904. The community is named for the 18th century Georgia politician Robert Toombs, which, you know, is crazy that the fact that, you know, these black women picked that place to pit the town at what they call, you know, their so-called real life Wakanda but you know you got some other things that you want to lay out there but go ahead I just want to know like uh, I mean am, am I wrong or have anyone actually seen the 19 families no. cause 19 families is that that's a hell of a lot man mm -hmm. and every time when you uh, pull up the, the pictures of them it's just showing them or probably like what what four or five or six heads or something yeah I don't know what's up with that, man. But come to find out, too, you know, um, what's her name? Ashley Scott and Renee Walter, they are actually realtors, you know, and they're realtors for uh, Keller Williams. You feel me? So me personally, I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes. But, you know, I'm just thinking, however you get your hustle on, that's what you do. Because we in the business world. I always say that every time. And that's why I'm going to stand that. But, uh, I, me personally, I just think it was just a little promotion for um for their real estate hustle. You know? That's a whole thing. That's a whole thing with me. Because I, I, I don't see the 19 families, bro. Then they came. They got a little GoFundMe or whatnot, which they already got about like around 64,000, 64K. But they're trying to get 88K. And their um their whole plan is when they get to 88K, um they want to connect with uh, Mobile Enterprise, which is a all women, you know, I guess construction business, a site, or whatever that they're trying to do. And um they're trying to build a little... Little teeny tiny huts or what that? A cabin. Huts, huts. Cabins. Why? Why cabins? I have no clue, man. See, like to me, they trying to do a modern day plantation, dude. <laughs> that's that's crazy, though, man. Cabins or anything. They're not like homes, though, but like cabins or anything. Cabins. You know, nobody wants to live in like a cabin. Nah, I man. That's where you're camping and stuff. And though, yeah. So modern day plantation. And you keep saying eighty-eight. And everything though, and there's all these black women because you know <laughs> the way things and plus they're in the sorority. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we always talk about fraternities, and sororities, everything. Oh, yeah. they, they, they guard dogs anyway, though, man. Right. You know, with the number eighty eight that keeps popping up. Eighty eight is a white supremacist numerical code for you know high Hitler. Right. It's letter in the alphabet, so you know he keeps an eighty eight. Right. And then um, <laughs> that's the number. You gotta think about too, and everything though, man, because of what you know, black women, man, especially educated black women, though, man, you know, they want to do, they want to fit in, and you know, with power for them is them coming up to um zaddy, so right. to speak, and everything though. Like you always try to say, man, they feel like, like you say, um, they feel like they're close to God. Oh yeah. <laughs> Um, to the uh, to Zaddy and all that stuff like that, though, man. But you know, wealth is created through cash flow and assets. Who has more cash flow and assets than the governments? Where does cash flow come from? Taxes and bonds. Mm -hmm. Who pays taxes? Landowners. Who runs governments? You no, know, people. Who right. are the people? 
we have to be more involved, especially people who set forth and build our own communities and everything else that we got going on. The only way we can really see ourselves coming together is we electively cut out all the BS of all the people who want to be on the outside because people who, who's already so-called speak on the inside, right. what they got going on doesn't even really reflect us to people. They got their own agenda. But who's not inside of the circle, though. So all the sororities and fraternities, you know, elected officials, they roll with the different bunch. Everything though. Now, what I know what John Ra got going on, if you really want to come together and you see a community come and stand together as one community, mm -hmm. true and real, then you need to go ahead and sign on with us and everything though. Like we've been saying before this yeah, we've been 19, this imaginary 19 families. I still don't together. see the families, bro. <laughs> I still do not see the families, bro. I only see 19 people. <laughs> it's, it's, it's crazy though, man. But like we said before, though, man, drop a hundred dollars in. You know what I mean? We said it before, though, man. It's a hundred of us. A hundred of us can go ahead and ride together and start building our own communities that's really going to affect our change yeah. in life and everything. That are really going to affect us. Really going to help us out and everything. Though. Not what they got going on right there. We know you can say what you want to say. Right. We're not trying to sit here and throw stones. Yeah, we throw stones. We're going glass houses. But you said, you know, who did they work for again? They were for uh Gary Keller, which was dealing with the the uh what's that the KW the Keller Williams uh realtor. Uh huh. You know, kind of find out as the modern day terms as they call it, he, he's a, he's a white man. But folks, folk just got to see the hustle, man. Like I said, I'm not I'm not knocking these you know women off their game. Congrat cahoots that they you know making it happen. But what just threw me off, what threw me off was. Like how they're putting it in the uh, what the media world, like oh, nineteen black families bought land and yada yada, and they're not understanding the flip side of it. You know what I'm saying? The stuff that they're not really putting out there in the um in the media like that. But it's good to have your own land. But it, it was all dealing with a deal, and how you gonna put it in? You know, since we wanna do on this this uh race thing or, or whatnot, if you gonna keep it in the black community or whatever how your top dog gonna be a so-called white man and I'm, I'm still not understanding the, the uh the cabins i don't understand these little miniature teeny 20 uh cabins man i don't know what i don't know what that's all about but hey i ain't no quarters <laughs> one big house at the top chilling yeah the, yeah the, yeah it's gonna be the real the, the man the, the slave ass gonna have the big house <laughs> Yo, people oh, need to, people need to get this, man. Wake up to the game. Like I'm not like, come on, yo. Wake up to the game. You know, we we like I said this before. How many times I'm gonna keep repeating myself? We're in the age of information. It's no excuse. Whatever you do with this technology, it can be a blessing or a curse. You be the judge of how you want to use it. This is true. And one last thing before we get up out of here, though, man. How about feel about the um the Brianna Taylor situation? You know, so there's no indictment. People out here angry, they ride in the streets and everything, though. So drop a comment down below. Let us know what you think about you know the topic that we just talked about and the whole Brianna Taylor situation. Everything, though. So you are angry? Was it disrespected? How you feel about that? And so on. So on though, man. This is just another day in a daily life. Right. That we live in. So keep in mind, nobody can live this life for you. You gotta go ahead out here and make it happen for yourself. You got to. And that's it, man. That's it's a doggy dog world. <laughs> <laughs> it's a doggy world. Hey, hey, Snoop. That nigga was already trying to tell us what was G, man. We need to get back to that though, man. Yeah. Right. It's true. Now, I mean, planting seeds of greatness right there, though. 
Other than that, drop a comment down below. Everything else, like, subscribe, all that in the world, man. Stop, just don't listen to it, man. Subscribe. You know what I mean? Right. We're going to keep dropping knowledge for you people out there, though, man. Most Peace and love, though, man. We out. Peace.